In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Cr3 plus plus NaOH. This is the chromium 3 ion plus sodium hydroxide. So let's first figure out what our products will be. So when we add this chromium 3 ion to the sodium hydroxide, we should end up with chromium hydroxide plus this sodium ion, Na+. Plus. That's because sodium has a positive charge, and then this whole hydroxide here, that has a one minus charge. So we'll need three of these hydroxides to balance out the three plus on the chromium. The sodium then, that's just by itself is Na+. Plus. When we do net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation, balance the number of atoms on each side. I can see I have three of these hydroxides here, three of the hydroxides. So I'm going to put a three in front of the sodium hydroxide. Now I have three hydroxides, but I have three sodium ions. So I'm going to put a three here, and we'll balance the molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. So we're assuming that this chromium-3 ion, if it's written chromium-3+, plus, that's going to be aqueous. So we have a solution with chromium-3 here. Sodium hydroxide, when it's put in a solution, when it's put into water, it's going to be aqueous here as well. So we'll say that's aqueous. It'll split apart, dissolve you know, into its ions. Chromium-3 hydroxide, that's a solid. If you look that up on a solubility table, you'll see that that's a solid. So it's actually going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube or wherever the reaction is taking place. Sodium, that's an ion. That's going to be aqueous. So we have our states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. So Cr3+, plus, that's all ready, just broken down. And I'll write aqueous at the end. Plus we have three sodium ions. Sodium's in group one, so it has a positive charge. Three of these hydroxide ions. And those are the reactants. And we end up with this chromium-3 hydroxide, which is a solid, plus three sodium ions. At this point, this is the total or complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. We look, the only thing that's the same on both sides, these three sodium ions. So we can get rid of those. And this will be the net ionic equation for Cr3 plus plus NaOH. I'll clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for chromium-3+, plus the chromium-3 ion plus sodium hydroxide. If you look at this, all the atoms, they're balanced. We have three hydroxides here and then three hydroxides here. We have a chromium atom and a chromium atom. The charge is also balanced. We have a 3 plus here. 3 times 1 minus, that's 3 minus. So they add up to zero, net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, so the net charge is zero here. So it's balanced both for the atoms and the charge. This reaction is useful because we get this wastewater sometimes with chromium dissolved in it. Chromium is not good for you, and you want to get the chromium out. So if you add the sodium hydroxide to that, the chromium, this precipitates out of the solution, and really all you're left with is this solid here, which you can filter off, and then these sodium ions just in solution. And sodium ions aren't going to hurt you. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.